Greetings. In this tutorial, we'll look at quantizing notes in FL Studio Mobile. Quantizing is the snapping of notes to a precise time grid. Let's listen to an unquantized selection of notes. To quantize the notes, make sure the snap is on from the upper left icon. Make a selection and choose snap. But wait, what grid are we going to snap to? To set the snap grid, long tap on the snap icon and choose from the pop-up list. It's currently set to one half step. Half a step is half of the grid shown when you zoom into the piano roll. So a step is one sixteenth of a note. A note is a whole bar, so half a step is one thirty second of a note. Let's set the snap value to one step, or one sixteenth of a note. So now when I make a selection of notes, the note control pop-up allows me to choose snap. And the starting position of all the notes have been snapped to the grid, or to the nearest one sixteenth of a note. Let's check that. and undo to remove the quantizing. Nice. I'll slew over to bar 22 and let's have a closer look at snap values. In fact, let's make a timeline selection so the bar loops and I'll add notes on each beat of the bar. So these are four by one sixteenth notes. The snap is on one half step, so I can change the length to one thirty second notes. And a quarter step is one sixty fourth of a note. Cool. So what about something like triplets? That means each beat of the bar is divided equally into three. That would be one third of a beat. I'll add a note and drag on the end to snap it to the one third beat grid. I assume you've already noticed how you can also set the length of notes to the snap units by dragging on the end. And now we have triplets. I love triplets. I must remember to use more of them. And with that, I hope you enjoy working with the snap and quantize features in FL Studio Mobile.